Greetings and blessings, family. Sister Ajali, this will be my last share for, I hope, well, my goal is to reach page 150 of my new novel, and that could take a couple weeks. I'm not going to push myself because I find I have been pushing myself, and I suddenly, just yesterday, was overcome with exhaustion. I couldn't believe how tired I was, but I'll wind up like, you know, rather than going to sleep when I should, I push myself myself too much trying to get so many things done and all of that said I have to put this warning out here as best I can and this is the frustrating part uh, because I know exactly what's going on Daily Mail which I don't know who which one of their staffers watches my videos but somebody on there surely does um Daily Mail knows in the premiere I did yesterday I spoke about this person, Bella Hadib. I only know her name because uh, it's clearly listed in this, uh, w the thing I shared about her, that she takes CMOS. And I noted that once I mentioned the fact that I never see them recommending sea vegetables to, I would imagine on Daily Mail, it is overwhelmingly white women watching or reading these articles i noted that they didn't do it and but just like that suddenly they were mentioning uh, sea vegetables and then i said but you know they don't ever mention the sea moss and then bam here comes bella hadid now the reason I have it, the whole thing fashion like this with this window open is because they got disgusting pictures of Bianca Sensori and I'm just tired of the naked folks, just so tired. And I don't want to put that on you, but there's no way for me to, you know, make this large enough so that I don't have to look at Bianca. Um, but I ran across this article after I had gotten my video from yesterday edited where I covered this the this where okay now all of a sudden you recommend in CMOS I wish I had of had this before uh, but here dietitian warning as trendy CMOS gel linked to debilitating thyroid disease now in the article itself and they cover just one woman, just one woman who is 28 years old, who developed severe thyroid disease. They have all these, you know, uh, deceptive ways of not saying cancer or not saying just the different. One of the first effects of radiological contamination is thyroid diseases it attacks the iodine the radioactive iodine attacks your thyroid and when it's natural iodine there's pretty much no problem whatsoever as long as it's not radioactive iodine but if it is then if you're not getting the adequate amount of non-radioactive iodine your thyroid is going to suck that stuff up real fast and then it's going to lead to not just thyroid problems but every kind of problem because your thyroid and your thymus, your thymus has a requirement of magnesium, your thyroid and your thymus regulate your entire autoimmune system so that you could even resist cancers. So this woman uh, went to the hospital after suffering a range of alarming symptoms such as anxiety, heart palpitations, radiation causes heart issues, and weight loss. Blood tests later revealed nutrient deficiencies. She had nutrient deficiencies. I, I would imagine she's going to a hospital. They're not asking her what she's eating because they also eat crap. And so a lot of the doctors have nutrient deficiencies themselves. But here they're not saying that was the cause. They're saying that she was in excess of mineral iodine. But they don't say that, that more than likely that was radioactive iodine. And so they put this brief warning out uh, to the white women. Uh, but there's people out there who, hearing it from black me, when... 
I've been collecting the proof of exactly what I'm saying for years and years and years. This is actually even a photo from Daily Mail where they were showing mussels. They used man-made filtration systems on this polluted water. And this was the exact amount that it cleared up the pollution. And over here, they just had mussels which act as any sea life form that will concentrate, especially as a shell fish, it eats by concentrating all of the nutrients that are in the water, just going off. It's, it's not dry inside the shellfish. And when they put them in the water, this is how clear it all got. Sea vegetation, same exact thing. They're getting their nutrients from everything that's floating around and they're going to concentrate the levels of radiation in the seawater. This is a test by Woods Hole Oceanographic. And here they found low levels in the sea, surrounding seawater. And then when they tested the sea vegetation, they had thousands more where Dr. Yuri Bandashevsky, who did the studies on people who actually were suffering acute radiation sickness from Chernobyl, found that 50 becquerels per kilogram of your flesh is enough to cause irreparable damage to your entire body uh, from radiation. Well, 10,000 becquerels, that's what that BQ down there means. I would say you in trouble, you eating some daggone sea vegetables, and that would, of course, include the sea moss. And again, I have to emphasize because it's not easy doing what I do because the, the human nature, you, you got so much that you're doing, and you don't want to hear the corrections of what's wrong with this society from somebody that you figure is a victim of those corrections. You want to go to the dudes killing us as if they're ever going to admit it because you as a black person, you know how wrong murder is and you assume that the devil is like you. No, he's not. No, he's not. I don't mean to yell at you. I'm not yelling at you. It's because I care about you. All right? And so... The danger of ionizing radiation is extreme. It's not, it's worse than even if you swallowed your cell phone or swallowed your m microwave. It's far worse where you're not swallowing an x-ray machine, but that's the equivalent to eating radiation where you're going to be putting out this level of damage to every single cell in your body every day because you're not going to turn that radiation off there's no off switch that you could reach down on a cellular level and turn them suckers off you should get my book furnace of affliction i wrote it for you but once again if it were written by a white person uh, then you might take me seriously. So I'm hoping you'll take this dietician, who I'm sure will have to be a white person, warning just the white women. They're not going to come and say, even if you are selling the sea moss, touching that stuff is going to contaminate you. You can't see an atom. And so you're going to be contaminating any facility that you have that's wrapping the stuff up, or you think even if it's in a glass jar, it's going to be contained in that? No, touching that jar is going to be emitting certain levels of radiation. You probably go up, you, you guys, you should really go get some Geiger counters to verify what I'm saying. But at this point, your whole home, if you got it in your home, is so contaminated I don't know what you're going to do. There's a whole thing that I listened to a broadcast and Lauren Murray mentioned Vanderwall forces where they found after Bikini Atoll, they couldn't clean this stuff out. Okay, now I got to stop because otherwise this will be too long. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping you'll listen to the whole thing and share it with everybody so that we could get the warning out. Because they only had this article up there for five seconds flat. Just so that what they're worried about 
is being sued. That's what I read in all the books I've read about what they're doing with radiation. The biggest fear is being sued, also just being caught out there. But it's weird they never, ever, ever, with all the stuff happening, mention the pattern of radiation. Boeing does not make most of the planes that are crashing and killing all the passengers in them. They're private planes, okay? So I just need to emphasize that. I'll see you in a couple weeks, family. I love you. Go support me on 25,000 Year Cycle, my Patreon account, or at dollar sign Radical Sister, your help is invaluable. This is gigantic. And we must, we must support the only person who's getting this warning out so that you could be okay. I mean, dang, that's paramount, paramount. Shabbat Shalom. I love you. Peace and blessings.